Oh my god, I just finished doing a video and I saw something that I never see. Oh, it's still there. I never see praying mantis in California, or I mean, in Southern California. How cool. I was supposed to go have lunch with a group of people today, uh, but I am ravenous for some reason. I've got this, ooh, I've got this deep down body to desire to consume mass quantities and they all wanna go to this kind of semi-expensive uh, steakhouse. And I, I just, I need to eat now. Uh, now, now, now. I don't know why, it's hitting me. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I've got a very foggy, foggy, foggy brain thing going on today. I found that my brain works only in a creative sense when there is a looming deadline for work. Okay, so when it's my home personal funsy stuff, I kind of have a, a, a more proactive gusto, but at the same time, I'm not really, what are they doing? In three quarters of a mile, you'll arrive at Maui Teriyaki. I'm not really pushing the envelope of creativity when I'm at home. And when I mean creativity, like like technically creative, the things I need to remember, the things I need to do to, come on bro, I'm all for cyclists, but geez, you're really pushing it. So when I have to make things like PowerPoint slides, even at work, I'm kind of like lackadaisical on them. I don't have this very attention to detail uh, when it comes to slides, particularly when the deadline is so far out in advance for the thing that these slides are built to plan. So I kinda force myself to take more time and to look at the slides longer than to just slam a bunch of stuff and send it out because that's, that's kinda how my brain works is that Getting something down and getting a discussion going for me is always, almost always better than me taking that same amount of time and just iterating over them myself in my brain over and over again. Because what ultimately happens is when I have a discussion with somebody, even if it's a short discussion, in 30, all right, if it's just something like 30 minutes or, or an hour, you know, every so often, I find that that is so much more valuable for gelling the idea in my head, the, the, the bouncing back and forth of, of ideas and topics with people, that I, I'd almost rather do that than just than just talk inside my head because it just doesn't You've work the same. Your destination. I'm, I'm much more of a, a talker, an outspoken kind of guy when it comes to developing things. Anyway, what are we getting? We're getting Maui Tadayaki. Where are we going? Um, are we getting soup? Cookies? cookies. <laughs> what, soup and cookies? I just told them cookies. How much is Take a little bit of the classic green. Fail of a salad. Don't show my foot. Why are you whispering? <laughs> That's what you said. I love mommy. I know you love mommy. We all know. <laughs> hey Ben, are you full of self-loathing like I am? Yeah. We ate so much salad and soup? Yeah. Yeah? So much soup that Why? we're now fat? Why? What are we doing? Um, we're, You want pho now? Mom. Pho? Fa? Ma. Fa? Wa. Fa? Wa. <laughs> what? What? Hi. What? Hi. So today's Monday and Monday Ma. we have Monday and we have to clean the house. It's our clean the house day. We try to keep the house tidy, but Monday is always our day to like really clean the house. Right, Ben? How do we clean the house? Do we use Roomba? Yeah. 
Is that Roomba next to you? Yeah. I'm gonna start Roomba, okay? Okay. All right, hold on. Seriously, <laughs> Mondays are our life hack day. So we're gonna talk about things that, that we've done to improve our lives. And the Roomba, as seen here, is uh, my hack for today, for Monday, for this Monday. It is one of my favorite things that we purchased. Here, let me quiet it down. This model, I am not positive on the not model, but it is a more expensive Roomba. But what it gives you is a scheduling ability. And that's why we like it so much, is that when it's docked, you can set a schedule for 4 a.m. on all the days of the week, and it'll basically go until it runs out of batteries, and then it'll automatically dock itself. And most of the time, it does a pretty good job of finding its home and recharging itself. And that'll happen every morning. The only thing you have to do is pull this back out and empty the collection bin. Also, those little yellow tabs, those are the HEPA filters. Maintenance on this is very simple. You just flip it over every once in a while, use these tabs here to pull out the wheels, and then use the blade that comes with a uh, with thing. It's kind of like a, an envelope opener looking blade to cut the hairs or the strings or whatever. And you just do that as many times until it starts looking worn out. Like for example, this is starting to look a little worn out. And if you need to, you can go on Amazon and it's you know 20 or 30 bucks and you buy a kit to replace these pieces. And it also comes with two of these little uh, whiplash things. These things go out about the same as these guys go out, but they give you two of these. They also give you HEPA filter replacements, which depending on your effect of allergens for you know vacuuming, that could be useful. And we've noticed with a dog like Charlotte, which is a uh, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, that the Roomba has helped to keep hair way, way, way less than it was before. We were sweeping daily with uh, with Charlotte when we had first got her because of just how much hair she has living in Southern California. It was just, it was too much to handle. So anyway, for Monday, Life Hack Monday, this is my recommendation. The Roomba something or other, I'll append it in the video. Again, it's expensive, but I think you get what you pay for in this particular case particularly if you have a dog with a lot of hair.